So we talk about Holocore, we talk about Quartz. Now, let's talk about how I like to build my character. So we have 17 characters available in the game. Uh, Fee and Zin will only available in post game. Rion and Celis will take part in some part of the main story, but they are available throughout post game as well. So uh, the character list here are based on the order of joining. So I guess spoiler, I guess, but I don't think the characters available here are as spoilery as that one character from Hajimari no Kiseki or Trails into Reverie. So when I am showing the bill, I'll try to follow this order just because, you know, why not? So before we talk about the bill, I want to talk about shard scale. So in terms of shard scale, they are more or less the same as, you know, the meta ones, the one that you should aim for for every line. They are more or less the same in Kuro. Uh, I'll list down the elemental value required for the desired quote unquote shard scale for everything. So for first, for our weapon line, I want burst gain. And it a, a, only burst gain. I don't care about fatal and I don't care about executioner because I don't think it's possible to build everything. So for me, the way I play is that I aim for one or two short skill, and then I consider the other short skill that I got are just you know bonus. So for shield line, I have four or uh, three short skill that I would like to have on, if possible, everyone, or like yeah. If possible everyone so for the first one is covering shield level 1 or level 2 because I think covering shield has it, the activation rate is low 10% uh, for covering shield for covering shield 2 it's 20% but the damage reduction is for covering shield 2 is quite large I think it's about 90% damage reduction or something it's very high so I think it's really good uh, and then for character like Anius I prefer to get seraphim force you don't need seraphim force on everyone but i prefer to get it on like anius or maybe another healer so that you know in case of emergency you have someone to heal or revive the team and then at least for me i want i mean the translation shows resist goal basically you uh, resist with um the resist skill with space uh value I just call it resist mute <laughs> basically what resist mute does is yeah resist mute because i think kuro no kiseki and crimson sin they are art they are gay they are not like cold steel which is a little a little bit more balanced i mean cold steel technically is also art game but you know we can deal uh, like a big number with craft in kuro no kiseki and crimson sin not as high as what we can do in cold steel so I just prefer, let's say if my physical attacker got sealed, they can use art. If my art user gets sealed, they can use their craft, so vice versa. So if possible, I don't want any of my character, physical or magical or art user, getting muted, you know? So, yeah, that's why I just prefer to put any space cards on the shield line so that I can resist mute. So next we go on to drive line. For drive line, I prefer obviously I prefer Akpeta on anyone, everyone, uh, because first extra damage, second chance to delay. Even I think delay they balance it out on this game because you don't need as much delay because you can just brute force uh, bosses with damage. But you know it's good and uh, Sadis and Tasma debuff enemies as well so you can deal more damage at the same time uh, and obviously you want get that again for cell sustain uh, surprising for this game for crimson sin you can get get again on any character that has four slot on the R drive line I'll show you how to get on every element because some characters have elemental slot on the R uh, drive line so I'll, I'll show you how to do it and then for extra line i prefer to get treasure hunter obviously uh hawkeye same uh 
I prefer to get leg breaker and scrum up. Leg breaker because you know another you you inflict slow on your opponent, and then scrum up because scrum up just increase your radius so that you can keep connected or link to your party member at a wider area. So you know. So I think more or less it doesn't change the best in slot or the must have sharp skill. You know I consider the rest. You know, like if I get scrum up and leg breaker, I consider the rest are you know bonus because every character has different requirement. Uh, they are affected by the uh, placement of their uh, elemental slot and they are what type of elemental slot, fire, water, blah blah blah. Right, so it depends. Okay, let's talk about Bill. So for this uh, guide, I guess um, I will list down or I will show you two Bill. The first bill I just call it regular bill. So the regular bill is running on the assumption that you don't farm all of the rare slash special quartz because you know you don't like you don't like farming. You don't you you know time constraint blah blah blah. So the assumption is based on that you only have one copy of the rare slash special quartz. So the quartz that I will use for my regular bill, quote unquote. Are all available to synthesize from the shop using only sepis. No new material needed. That includes uh, quartz like Utsusemi. You know this basically what I show in the quartz showcase or translation earlier. The, uh, all of the first two rare quartz on your rare quartz section. Well, excluding the 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 gem quartz. So all of the rare quartz, the first two rare quartz that you can see on your quartz list, those are the ones that you can synthesize with just Sepi. So I'll utilize the regular ones and the ones that you can synthesize, but rare quartz. Affection, Raging Fire, Utsusemi, uh, Good Luck, Great Luck, uh, Septim Vein, whatever, you know. So uh, for this build, I try to impose some rules. Why? why i impose this rule or uh, restriction because um considering that we have at least one copy of each uh rare quartz at the very least at least the good ones you get only one copy unless because because regular bill is running on the assumption that you are not grinding for the rare quartz so you should get one copy of each quartz right so i will ignore all of the characters elemental slot so why what the I mean, elemental slot is good in the sense that whatever quartz you equip it will double the elemental value number one number two because again we only have one copy of each rare quartz at the very least so for some players they prefer to you know use their favorites some players prefer to you know spread their resources blah blah, blah. so the bill kind of change so i am ignoring the elemental slot so that i can get all of the shard scale that i want and at the same time having that leeway for other players oh if you if they want to copy and you know mix and match based on when they utilize the character elemental slot so i will ignore the elemental slot for now so considering Zypha has 15 to 16 slot, by ignoring the elemental slot, we can work around and utilize about 12 to 13 slot for each character. So we have 12 to 13 slot to get all of the short skill that I mentioned earlier, or try to get most of them. Okay, the, fir the, the second rule is, uh, or restriction I guess, uh, I must use all of the stats increasing quartz. So defend 3 EP, 3 action, 3 EP cut, you know, because I think start scores are like increase, straight away increase your base stat, so I think that's good, right? Uh, and then obviously uh, the third rule is I try to aim for the best in slot short scale from each line. Weapon line, you want burst gain, uh, drive on one arc better at the very least, so I'll try to get everything, but it's impossible, so tweaking again i'm not utilizing every slot so you know 
for people that utilize it, they have a lot more flexibility. And then, as mentioned earlier, I will only use the regular quad synthesizable from the shop using only Seppis. And I also try to show the budget bill for art user so that you can get both Arc Feather and Gather again. Okay, so let's start. I will not show for the regular bill, I will not show on everyone. I just try to give you the rough idea what to aim for for one character because you can get you can get all of the shard skill by just using three slot so whatever they are elemental slot available on their whatever line they have you can get it so the variation comes from the elemental slot placement and where the elemental slot what elemental slot they have sorry what elemental slots if you have time you can just ignore it because i'm try i i'll try to get everything within the three or two lines available on each each line or two sorry two or three uh, uh three slot available on each line okay let's start so generally speaking you want to get again i, I talked about earlier you want to get burst gain i will list down the elemental value you need for it, for this example i will list down the elemental value you need so that you get the rough idea of what element you need for the chart scale and how many do you need so first you, usually i put hp and double fire so usually i use strength tree and uh destruction but i just call it stun court so now we get burst gain easily uh, I don't think any character will have restriction for uh, burst gain on any of their uh, weapon line. Even Anias can get it because we only again we are utilizing only three uh, three slot. I think some characters that have advantage are the one with um, fire slot. So because fire slot uh, fire slot means you double your fire amount, right? So you only put one level 3 or tier 3 fire slot and then you put hp boom you also can get burst gain so there's not a lot of like restriction i guess so you can just roll burst gain on literally everyone and you can mix and match based on uh they are other if they have elemental slot you can mix and match it if you want i think uh uh for let's say fairy uh so not fairy sorry a uh, fee you can get executioner on the first line yeah burst gain and executioner so it depends on the character slot so yeah. next i want covering shield on everyone uh for some character it's really hard to get a uh, covering shield too even though i prefer to have covering shield too because covering shield 2 gives you more damage reduction but at, at the very least try to get covering shield on all characters because you know damage reduction is good even though the activation rate is low but you know why not right so any earth quartz tier 3 tier 3 earth quartz and you they change it from the previous game so for for for, for kuro no kiseki you only need earth quartz to active uh, to uh, to get a uh, covering shield look for crimson sin somehow you need some kind of mirage so you need mirage and earth unfortunately so so you basically in the first game it's very flexible you can put in whatever quartz le uh, quartz left over because you only need earth quartz but for this game you have to utilize two two slot unfortunately so if you want to you can again this is i think covering shell is enough but if you if you want to like get covering shell too you need higher tier cards you need eight earth and er, uh eight earth earth uh, and eight mirage slowing a little bit sorry so uh, it's really hard to get because tier three, tier three quads uh all, always have six elemental value so really hard to get but at least you now have um shield covering shield uh, shard scale next for every character i prefer to get arc feather for arc feather you need 
Wind and Mira uh, Mirage. Unit double Mirage. Unit eight and four. Because you know, extra damage. Who doesn't like extra damage, right? So usually you you can put uh for physical attacker, you can put delay, sorry, impede cords here, and then you can put impede, impede 2, impede 3. Or for art user, you can put art 2 or mine 2, mine 3, you know. So that's how you get arc feather. Is it required? No. You can put whatever, but I just like the idea of okay, everyone has arc feather, so at the very worst, I can just spam arts and call it a day. <laughs> and then whatever stuff you you have less over all of the main stats court you can put on whatever line you need you have casting you have speed and then ep cut like i mentioned earlier i like to have resist mute here so i prefer to put something with space value so that you know my character doesn't get muted yeah, you based on the rules that I impose or based on the restriction I impose, I technically fulfill the condition. So I'm I am using some of the stats increasing quartz. Technically speaking. This is just uh, you know a, a rough framework because again we are we still have three slot or three or four slots available and you can pretty much change the bill. Because again, you you can double your elemental value with any um, elemental slot, any quartz that you put on your elemental slot. So this is roughly the quartz layout for every character, to be honest. Wait, uh, the difference will be he in your drive line because Van cannot get gather again because gather again you need four types of element, so really hard to get. Well, alongside arc feather so i just prefer to just get arc feather and call it a day so yeah roughly this is this should be the rough or layout not rough layout like the all of the quartz you need you have hp attack tree destruction tree or i just call it stun tree defend or ep any mirage secondary or second tier mirage quartz for me personally i like muted I, I like resist mute so any third tier space quartz and then any third tier wing quartz and then two third or second tier mirage or mirage quartz so that you can fulfill the at least you can get eight mirage elemental value and then unit space uh, unit, not space unit action and casting so you just put you can put whenever you know you can put it here if the character doesn't already have fire slot here you can put whatever so yeah roughly that's a rough idea or a rough layout on how to get all of the good short skill usually i abandon the extra line not yeah not abandon i i put whatever leftover i have on the extra line because the first three uh, the first three lines are the the most important ones extra line if you can get all the good stuff like scrum up it's good if you don't get it then whatever because again the 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 limitation is you are using regular quartz right so it's a bit different so we talk about the general idea of what to use on you know the regular bill assuming you don't grind quartz and you have one because I am also ignoring the rare quartz on those build. Because when it comes to rare quartz, it's up to you. Some people use their favorite. Some people prefer to spread their uh, their resources. Blah blah blah. Right. So now I'm going to talk about how you can get arc feather and cater again for any character that has four slot on their drive line. Whatever element. I tried it before. You can get it on any character. Let's get started. So we start with water because there's no earth elemental slot character for on, on the draft line. We have none. We don't have earth. We don't have time. So we'll start with water. So for water, again, uh, looking at arc feather and Gatar again, 
this is arc feather this is feather again doesn't matter level one or level two arc feather you know so the rough idea is you need mirage you need wind you need water you need earth so you have four elements that you need to consider so for art user or anyone that has elemental slot on their drive line i will start there with their elemental slot again the rule of thumb is i cannot use rare quartz that i need to use your material to synthesize so luckily we have affection affection has water and earth so we put it in straight away get it guys the only issue with water character or water slot character which is in this case it's rion and anis is that affection breath and affection they both have abysmal effect like at least for me personally some some players might have might don't um they don't have issues with it because they like to heal with art but i don't like to heal with art because i like instant healing so either use item or craft but i can overlook it because they uh because <clears throat> because breath affection this one is affection breath has lower elemental value so you cannot activate you cannot activate uh get that again so you kind of need affection even though the the effect suck at least the the elemental value is good so i can overlook the quartz effect and just you know just roll with it so we need some kind of wind so i'll use crit tree you need a lot of mirage so i'll use impede tree and mine tree sorry this is mine tree this is a bit tree so we have arc feather get her again See, you need you need eight minimum so you can put level two tier two quartz so i prefer tier three because why not might 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 as well get level two oxider you know so yeah that's for water slot next we have fire fire is a bit tricky because again we need four element mirage water wind and earth so the only option we have is these two luckily well you cannot use Sekito, Ba'ak, Nagar and Fafnir you can't even though again the restriction you can if you want to but I'm just showing you the budget build so I prefer Raging Flame because again higher elemental value so we have Raging Flame and then I put EP or defense let's put EP here and then I put you don't need water quartz you can put hermit because hermit has three water slot or water elemental value and as we can see here you only need three water minimum so we fulfill that condition and then you can put impede tree or mine tree see arc feather get her again done for fire next we have wind which is surprisingly only reset <laughs> reset is the only character with wind element elemental slot on her drive line so for wind in the first game i use his rune but for this game for crimson sin i use indomitable and then i put let's say ep3 straight away you got gather again and then you can put let's say uh, any of the at least in, remember the value eight mirage so you can put mine tree and impede tree arc feather arc feather level two gather again it's it doesn't matter level one level two you just deal more damage or something but you want you you want the extra damage you know yeah easy uh for space it's i'm gonna bend the rule a little bit i put the restriction right but it's you can technically technically you can you only need one copy but again i'm, I'm gonna bend the rule uh it's impossible to get 
with just regular chords that you can synthesize with Sabbath. But like I said, like I mentioned earlier, you can technically use you, you technically have one copy of each rare chords, technically, right? So you can get it by using Ratatos, which is this chords. And you can use Hyperion, which is this chord. So because you only have two characters with space line or space slot, sorry. Space slot on their drive line. The first is Rene Kincaid. I, I call him Rene, but when I say Rene, it's Kincaid. And Kataru. So if you want to use your Kincaid or Rene as an art user, which I like to, you can use it. So the option for Rene, I like to use Ratatos. Because you have uh, space and earth. You own you you need some water, so I prefer Hermit. Because again you can synthesize Hermit. And now you need some wind. And you need a little bit more mirage. So let's put mine tree. So we have Creed Tree, Mine Tree, Ratatos, and Hermit. Boom. Arc feather. Get that again. The other space user or space character is Katoru. We have one copy of Ratatos and we have one copy of Hyperion. For Katoru, I just put Hyperion. Boom. And then I put Earth Quartz. Uh, let's do EP. I put Wind Quartz. Crit Tree because I don't think I, you need Dodge. Crit Tree. And then you need some water. So, Hermit. Hermit will solve your problem. Boom. <laughs> Arc Feather. Get that again. See? Again, I am bending the rule for space because the quartz that you can synthesize with space give you space and fire. Both of them. Which is kind of sad. You don't need fire. So, yeah. And the last one. Mirage. Mirage is unfair. I think since the first game, people that already play Kuru, they know you can easily get Arc Feather Gather again with anyone with Mirage slot. So in the first game, we have uh, Judith and Fairy, right? Yeah, so it's kind of unfair. So Mirage is very easy. It's uh, again up to you. So usually for easy, you can easier for easier. Um, easier option you have you have the options of hermit it gives you if you have full hp you get 10% crit when using art or if you like the effect of utsu semi which is 90% chance of not getting targeted in command battle you can pick anything because again it doubles your elemental value and utsu semi and hermit both have um, mirage and water water elemental value so like you can put whatever let's say let's try the lower one let's say let's, let's try utsu semi so i need earth so i put ep i need some wind so i put wind and then i put mirage so i put let's say mine tree easily if you don't like utsu semi and you want to if you like a hermit same thing. You already fulfilled the condition with Utsu Semi, so you know. Yeah, I mean everyone knows how easy it is to get Mirage, uh, a character with Mirage line. How how easy to get uh, Arc Feather Gather again. So you know, it's not as bad as other element where you have to utilize some. You have to utilize the rarer quartz, or you have to utilize quartz that are not as good in terms of the effect. I think. Fire also, Raging Fire, where is it? Delis. Not Raging Fire, sorry. Fierce Flame. Kinda lackluster in a sense that because you need to use I believe you need to trigger you uh the follow-up attack, the shard pre the preemptive shard attack is triggered by you can only get that modifier, 1.5 modifier. If you use the character as the active character that trigger the preemptive shard attack, so 
unless you run your Nadia or Celis as your active character, then you might not get the effect. But eh, whatever, you know. The intent and the purpose is the objective is to get Akveda and Ketar again. And I fulfill the condition. I fulfill the purpose. I fulfill the I fulfill the objective. So yeah, you can do it easily. So I've shown you the budget or regular bill, you know, the one that use the regular quartz and some rare quartz for people that don't like to farm, which is, you know, I understand, whatever, right? So now I'm going to talk about how I build the character, my character, how I build, into, uh, how I build them during my playthrough. Uh, so I have some criteria for my build. So. First thing first, uh, I must use all of the stats increasing gem. So for gem, we have amber gem, we have blue pearl, we have crimson gem, we have emerald gem, we have black gem, we have golden gem or gold gem, we have silver gem. So all of the gems I must use, if not all, most of them. Uh, second criteria that i use is i might i must try to get all of the best in slot shard skill that i mentioned earlier and for this one i obviously will use all rare cards that require you to farm extra u material slash black steel ball so first thing first before we start talking about the bill i want to talk about the recommended cards on every character so throughout the game we have physical and magical attacker right so they are these are the cards that you kind of need to use at least i recommended it to use on everyone because of their effect so first is oceanos increase your shard skill activation rate by plus 20 percent which is good that, that just increase the activation rate of your any any of your of your shard skill Next, uh, the must-have is Sekitoba. Increase your CP gain when you get attacked. Uh, and Fafnir. Why Fafnir? Because increase your boost gauge so that you can maintain your boost. And the last one, I don't think most people like it, but Hakutaku. Why Hakutaku? I mean, 90% chance to have 80 bonus on your character is better because we have gift steal on the short skill. which is this one the final one the bottom one gift steal but surprisingly you can only trigger it if you use normal attack or craft so it's only useful if you use your craft and for consistency sake you kind of want to get the 80 bonus on your magic attacker or art user so for the recommended quartz on you know literally every character you kind of want those four so ocean of sekitoba fafnir hakutaku hakutaku is really good i just like it okay so first the deviation now we start to deviate from the build so i have physical attacker and magical attacker so for physical attacker the must have quartz are all of the start quartz that i mentioned the gem one plus the recommended quartz the four quartz i mentioned and then you kind of want to get Agnagarn, which is at full hp increase your physical damage by at the very max 50 percent you want haze rune basically give you 100 percent crit damage increase you want rusalka for Ascraft, Ascraft delay reduction. You want Azazel for regular craft delay reduction. So, total quartz required are seven or six from uh, stats increasing quartz. So, all of the elemental gem, or not all, some, most of the elemental gem. The recommended ones, we have four. So Oceanos, Sekitoba, Fafnir, Hakutaku, and then the physical bill best in slot quartz, which is Agnagarn, Hezrun, Rusalka, Azazel. Now, let's talk about the magical attacker. 
So for magical attacker or art user, we need to use stats increasing quartz plus the recommended quartz. And then for art user only, you want to have lean bound. You want to have Lorelei. You want to have Volglyph. If you have other slot, because art user are a lot harder to build in that sense because your build is tied to whatever elemental slot you have here. So your that's where the limitation comes in. So if you have extra slot available, maybe you can put Utsusemi. This one. Or Kitzal Kowal. I know my pronunciation is like weird. You know there are some words that you just read in your head and then you try to pronounce it. Oh that's different from what the correct pronunciation is. So yesterday I checked <laughs> I checked it online. Okay, that's very different from the correct pronunciation. So I think I believe the correct pronunci pronunciation is Quetzal Kowal. So if you can, if you, you can put Utusemi and Quetzalcoatl. Quetzalcoatl, I think. Okay. Quetzalcoatl is basically whenever you cast art, you have 100% dodge. Good in that sense because you cannot get impeded by enemies. Your enemies cannot cancel you while you're casting art. Utsusemi is just so good because 90% chance of not getting targeted. What's not to like, right? So, yeah. So those are like the rough idea of how my physical attacker and magical attacker or art user getting built. So let's talk about the belt. So before we start, let's do some math first on how I build my character. So I mentioned earlier, the one of the criteria is I need to use all of the stats increasing gem. So if you if I'm if I'm gonna list down, I need six. I didn't mention the math earlier, but I'm gonna show it now. I need six. For recommended cards, I need four. That's ten. And then for physical or magical attack, I need another four or three. So throughout this build, or at least the way I build it, it's really hard to get. Or if it's really hard to use all of them. Because sometimes you get limited by the character's elemental slot. Sometimes you get limit you get limited by the character elemental slot placement. Because some of them like have like shitty placement or whatever. So I the the rule the criteria is I try to get the best in slot short scale and at the same time try to use all of the quartz that I listed with before. At least most of them so let's talk about it so for van akright how i build my van so for weapon 9 usually i put it uh blue pearl rusalka sekitoba not fafnir it's aknagar for shield line i put ember gem i put gold gem I put Azazel and Silver Gem. For Drive Line, I put Hezrun, I put Hakutaku, I put Emerald Gem. For Extra Line, I put Black Gem, I put. Sorry, this is Fafnir. I am so sorry. This is Fafnir. So Fafnir and Aknagar. For extra line, I put Black Gem, Seki Toba. Unfortunately, Talos and Oceanos. So, technically, I fulfill all the conditions. I put Aknagarn, I put Hezrun, I put Musalka, I put Azazel. Because, weirdly enough, I have Oceanos. This is Oceanos. I have Sekitoba, I have Fafnir, I have Hakutaku. Uh, weirdly enough, Van is 
aside from this earth elemental slot van is good because he has a timeline or time slot here so in terms of build it's a lot it's very forgiving for van i think my only issue with van's elemental slot is just that he has that earth, one earth slot i think that earth slot is better if it's here and then for the time slot should be an extra line so earth slot in uh, shield line and then extra slot uh, extra for extra line the time slot is it bad is it good i think it's fine van is i fulfill most if not all of the condition that i uh, the criteria i set we got everything that we need we also unlock every single sharp skill that i like to get covering shield too arc feather and full scrum up and leg breaker so that's how i build my van uh for holo core recommended obviously mare i talked about it earlier but mare chaos just really good I mean, it depends on your playstyle, you can put whatever mare you want, but Mare Chaos is the most offensive mare version, so why not, right? Next, let's go to Elaine. So, I'll list down the quartz first and then I'll elaborate and explain why they are bad or good. So for Elaine, weapon line, we have Blue Pearl. Utsu Semi Sekitoba and Fafnir Amber Gem for Shield Line Lorelei Quetzal Koal Silver Gem Lindbaum Oceanos Hakutaku Emerald Gem, Black Gem, Volglyph, and Gold Gem. Yeah, uh, my issue with Elaine is I don't get, I don't manage to get Lake Breaker. First, because she has two Mirage slot, number one. The first one is the placement. I don't mind Mirage Slot here, but this one really threw me off. So essentially, I I have to use three uh, Mirage Quartz. Usually, I use two for some for most characters. Usually, I put Akotaku and uh, Silver Gem, but because Elaine has two Mirage Slots, so I have to use three Quartz. Unfortunately, so I cannot get the required elemental value to get leg breaker so i need some kind of win down here to get leg breaker but i cannot uh regular yeah she fulfilled all of the condition and the most forgiving fact about elaine is that she can use quetzal koal so she can get that 100 percent dodge rate when she's casting art and surprisingly it is placed on her shield line which is so good you can resist um she can resist seal but unfortunately well she can still resist mute because Lorelei has some space value but not as high so at least the bad elemental slot is placed on her shield line I think wind is among the weakest aside from space from now that I think of it in terms of elemental slot just because the quartz the quartz are good it's just that the the type of quartz for physical or magic or support they kind of vary it's not as consistent like time which is for physical attacker slash uh, craft spammer or like water which is just support or like yeah i mean all of the other elements have support but for wind it's just varied and some of them are just not as good 
unfortunately and it's a mixed bag because his rune we have physical and then uh we have Quetzalcoatl you have magic so a mixed bag but it's still functional so yeah that's how I be my Elaine I think the biggest regret is not not able to get leg breaker here because of the the mirage slot situation but Overall, I think I fulfilled most of the condition or the criteria that I set myself. So yeah, Elaine. For Elaine, uh, I use Pokal. Pokal is good. Uh, it's for mix attacker. They changed, they removed the EP regen or whatever from the first game. But now you have a lot of like stats increase. So if I boost with Elaine, she will have over 200% hit rate. Which is, you know, whatever, right? But yeah, Pokal. I like Pokal on Elaine. She sometimes I use her craft to heal or something. So, not a bad choice. Next, we have Anius. So Anius, one of the best or one of the easiest character to build. The only issue I have with Anius is that she's. She has shield and she can heal. That's it. So let's go through the quartz first. So for Anius, we have Lorelei, Standard, Zekitoba, and Fafnir. Amber Gem, Blue Pearl, Hyperion, Pog, Silver Gem, Linbaum, Vol, uh, not Volgolif, Oceanos. So Linbaum, Oceanos. Utsu Semi Hakutaku Volglyph Emerald Gem Gold Gem and Black Gem So for Anius a little bit yeah my issue is that because Anius can heal so I basically have to use Hyperion on her but in terms of elemental slot placement Anius is perfect. I want some mira uh, uh, sorry, I want some space here on my drive line. Uh, sorry, my shield line. I want some I want some space on my shield line, so Anius has it. And because Hyperion really good in the sense that you have Mirage and Space, so you already fulfilled the condition to activate or get covering shield and resist mute so really good uh, water slot really flexible why? because mirage slot is easy Let's. you have a lot of options for mirage slot for water slot if you don't have the premium quartz you are pretty much stuck with breath or affection sorry not, not breath and affection only affection so for water slot you can put whatever and surprisingly enough, Oceanos have both water and wind, which are two of the elements you need to get Aquata and Ketar again. So, yeah, it's just fit in perfectly. And then the the space slot here is fine, you know, whatever. Like it doesn't matter because you can still get um, scrum up and leg breaker you know so Anius among the easiest and flexible to use if I want to make some adjustment I would say I can remove this silver gem and I put something like Rusalka and I still have my uh, Seraphim Force and covering Shield too why Rusalka? because you don't want Anius to get delayed whenever you emergency heal with her s craft, right? So, why not? So, but I don't use Rusalka now because I like the stats from Silver Gem. So, you know, why not? So, in terms of follow core, uh, just like in the previous game, I use Rain on Anius. It loses a little bit of the value because of Arc Feather. And Ketar again. No, no, sorry. Only Ketar again. You don't really need Ketar again. 
but I just use it because you know why not if you get some EP discount and EP regen then it will help when it comes to your uh, get that game because you still have like quite a high chance to trigger Arc Feather and get that game with Ocean Oz, but sometimes you can miss, you know. RNG is RNG, but overall, fine. So, Rame, uh, EP cost reduction, and EP regen really, really helps. Next, King K. Let's start with King K. So, Blue Pearl, Fafnir, Crimson Gem, Silver Gem. Amber Gem, Lorelei, Sekitoba, Akutaku, Linbaum, Oceanos, Weirdly enough, Hyperion, and Emerald Gem, Volglyph, Gold Gem, Black Gem, and Quetzal Koal. Again, my enunciation is bad. I am so sorry, but I think that's how you pronounce it. It, but my pronunciation might be wrong. So, so sorry. So, Rene has two mirror, two space. I keep saying mirage. Sorry, and one fire. Is it bad? Is it good? Uh, bad in the sense that you basically have to use three fire slot rather than two, like most other characters. So I have to put in uh, strength. So basically, I have to put crimson gem, or if I like to be fancy, I can even put Aknagarn so he can hit hard physically and magically. But eh, I take the stun value over the physical damage increase because again, I don't know how stun is calculated. But you know, good way to do it. Uh, I put Hyperion on him weirdly enough just because hyperion has good elemental value because of the five mirage value <laughs> that's it it he doesn't heal so he will not like utilize or even can can even trigger the hyperion quartz uh, effect but because hyperion has some really good value i just put that <laughs> i can put ratatos but ratatos is rng so eh might as well use Hyperion. I grind it like somehow six <laughs> for some reason. So yeah, uh, the rest are just fine. It also helps that he has 16 slots. So you have one extra slot, you know, as a leeway. So overall, that's how I build my Rene King Gate. For Polo Core, I use Rain. So I use Rain Alter. Rene use Rain. Because why not? basically same with Anias EP cut EP regen magic attack it just helps when you want to spam art because I may primarily use Rene Kinkid as my art user rather than physical attacker slash support so art user and support because of the the craft the, the accelerate craft so yeah a bit weird to put Hyperion here but hey it's functional so next we have Swin. For Swin I have Blue Pearl, Sekitoba, Emerald Gem, Fafnir, Amber Gem, Rus not Rusaka, Azazel, MP3, Golden Gem or Gold Gem, Hezrun, Hakutaku, Silver Gem. Oceanos, Aknagarn, Rusalka, Black Gem. Yeah, for Swin, I unfortunately have to use MP3 here for some reason. And I also like to use any space quartz here so that I can get resist mute. So for Swin, the only weird thing is I have to use MP3 and the rest are just weirdly enough fitting because surprisingly for physical centric character, all of the good quartz are 
time. Or at least craft spammer. Uh uh, time. And win. <laughs> so he just fit in perfectly. So yeah, only in P3. Maybe I can change to something else, but I don't think so. But yeah, whatever. Yeah, I can improve it. Talos. Yeah, I can. <coughs> yeah, I lose win again. Next, we have your boy, Swin. So, for Swin, we have Ember. Next, we have your boy, Swin. What do we have for Swin? I have Blue Pearl, Sekitoba, Emerald Gem, Arknagarn. Not Arknagarn, sorry, Fafnir. We have Ember Gem, we have Rusalka, we have Silver Gem, we have Gold Gem, and then we have Haze Rune, we have Hakutaku, we have Crimson Gem. Oceanos, Agnagarn, Azazel, Black Gem. Technically, we fulfill all the condition. Win is, I think, among the easiest to build for physical attacker because, surprisingly enough, he has two elements that all of the good physical or craft spammer quartz need. So, which is, you know, time and win for his run so swin is just so for swin i just use nagi like uh he started with batim but again i cannot confirm how stun really works in terms of calculation how reliable it can be so i just put nagi on swin good crit rate good speed good physical damage perfect next we have nadia love nadia so for Nadia, she has 16 slot and fire. So let's talk about it after this. So for quartz, we have blue pearl, Quetzal Koal, surprisingly, Fafnir, and Silver Gem. We have Amber Gem, we have Lorelei, we have Volgolith, we have. Utsu Semi, Limbaum, Seki Toba, Emerald Gem, Hakutaku, Black Gem, Gold Gem, Oceanos, and we not weirdly enough, she can heal Hyperion. <laughs> I keep saying Hyperion weirdly enough. Okay, so for your girl, Nadia. It helps that she can easily trigger burst gain with just one slot. Or, well, not one slot for fire quartz. Because you kind of need water, right? So, you only, because, you know, you put one fire slot, she can trigger it easily. So I put Fafnir here. Uh, for her drive line, the fire slot really helps because, believe it or not, Sekitoba has water elemental value, so you need water, right? So yeah, just put it in. Uh, again, I think Nadia, Nadia also they change her elemental slot because she used to be fire and wind in Hajimari slash Rivery, but now she has water, which is perfect for Zypha. So for Nadia, just like Elaine, I use Pokal because I think Nadia has like good physical attack or physical craft 
so the stats increasing all of the good stats from Pokal complements Nadia very well plus we got T's you know Pokal in the first game that's just Nadia <laughs> you know so I don't really change Nadia's initial holo core so Pokal will stay with Nadia next we have your boy Kataru so for Kataru Blue Pearl Sekitoba Amber Gem and Fafnir and then we have Gold Gem we have Linbaum we have Volglyph and Hakutaku first time because uh, Katoru is a shielder so Hecaton Kyle Oceanos Hyperion because he can heal not weirdly like uh, King K but you know uh, and then we have Utsusemi sorry misclick and then we have black gem we have Lorelei and then we have gold gem uh, pretty good he's really easy to build considering that I mean I think Hyperion really safe uh, Katoru and then having the uh, Hecaton Kyre here sorry having yeah Hecaton Kyre here really helps because you need like a lot of earth value to trigger Gather again up feather I think it's Gather again so nothing to talk about and weirdly enough he can trigger scrum up and leg breaker with just three slot why going back to he has earth which is like good for support all of the support all of the good quartz has uh, earth value on it all, all, all of the shard skill all of the good shard skill has earth value on it so like best in slot for Kratoru for space Hyperion really save him so yeah nothing like to complain about Kratoru surprisingly in the first game I complained about him a little bit but not in this game he's great so for Kratoru at least for me I put Ronwa just because of the CP gain and the very very bulky build in terms of defense and art defense because I think I primarily use him for like defensive support healing shielding so Ronwe really helped with his uh, CP requirement you know it, 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 it helped it's really good for him because he can heal he can shield like Anias you can use shield but I think Anias is not as effective in terms of shielder compared to Reset or Katoru because it has smaller AoE which is you know not as good so you know Katoru is in the middle if you want to compare Anias and Reset and Katoru so Katoru is in the middle so yeah Ronwe for Katoru next we have my favorite character in the game Judith for Judith among the easiest character to build believe it or not so for Judith uh, we start with Blue Pearl Sekitoma Black Gem Fafnir Amber Gem Gold Gem and Silver Gem Linbaum Emerald Gem Utsusemi Lorelei and then we have Volglyph, Akutaku, Oceanos, and one extra slot. I can put a lot of things here. I, right now I'm using Amalthea because if she has low HP, she can get higher magic damage. The other option I can put is Quetzalcoatl if I want to, but I don't need the win elemental value because right now I can 
straight away trigger scrum up and leg breaker so i don't really need it but i have one extra slot that i can put whatever you know i can put physical or i can put craft reduction anything so right now i'm just using amaltea because you know why not so in terms of bill i would say lore just like in the first game she just hits hard like whoa lore got buff in the game i'll take it faster constant time higher magic damage i think so the fasting the faster casting time just i think i i value more compared to the art strength and speed increase so not only she hits hard but she also casts faster amazing so that's how i build my judy next we have Celis. uh Celis a weird one Let's talk about the Holocore first. I use Karabia for some odd reason. Karabia Altar, obviously. Um, for some weird reason. But I functionally I still use her as an art user. So I guess she's mixed. In terms of quartz, she's built like an art user. But in terms of Holocore, she's built or she equips the physical Holocore. I guess because we have no other options the, the good ones are already taken so i thought you know what Celis, you hit hard so yeah let's just stay with karabia i guess so for quartz we have blue pearl surprisingly i put crimson gem we have golden gem here and then we have quetzal koal and then we have huh we have Fafnir we have Lorelei we have Utsusemi Linbaum Emerald Gem Sekitoba Hakutaku Volgolith, Black Gem, Ember Gem, and Oceanos. So she's kind of mixed bag. I um I forgot. <laughs> she has uh Earth and uh, Earth and Fire. Because uh, it's just muscle memory to equip any Earth quartz here. That's why I was kind of surprised. But it makes sense because Fafnir has Earth value. So I already fulfill the condition to get covering shield any complaint about her elemental slot no nothing uh, just like judy nothing to complain this uh time slot just gives you fatal lancer because uh fafnir has earth value so you just can easily trigger Fatal Lancer, so it's just a bonus, you know. Same with, um, more or less the same idea with uh, Celis. Nothing to complain about. She's just good all around. Uh, surprisingly easier to build. Not among the easiest to build. I guess this Earth slot doesn't add anything. I guess. Because you can get, like, I think a uh, defense starter, I forgot the actual term, but basically at the start of combat, you get defense up, which is, I think, fine, you know, not like game breaking or anything. So, yeah, so it's for now kind of mixed back because I forgot that I build her as a mixed attacker. I can go full ham on a uh, magical attacker, but I don't want to. Kind of fun using mixed attacker. She can spam S craft and then use art. Amazing. Next, we have Rion. Rion, like Anius, among the easiest to build, considering that he has water slot and space slot at uh, at his uh, shield line, which I like. So for Rion, we'll start with Ember, sorry, Pearl, Blue Pearl. We have 
Så jeg kan da bare Standard, Fafnir, Standard I put Lorelei here And then we have Amber, Gem We have Utsu, Semi Gold, Gem Hakutaku Linbaum Oceanos Silver Gem Quetzalcoatl Quetzalcoatl Volglyph Weirdly enough <laughs> I put Volglyph here Not weird, yeah It's like Katoru, my bad uh, Black Gem and Emerald Gem So yeah, basically you need water, time and space uh, Sorry, not space, mean Water, time and wind to trigger both Black Breaker and Scrum Up uh, Nothing to complain about That's it This water slot on his weapon line Doesn't like change a lot It's fine, I accept it It's it's really good, it's fine Nothing to complain about about Rion And for Bill, I have Lore Altar Basically my second nuker Because he doesn't have like support craft so might as well just deal shit ton of damage you know so yeah that's how I build Rion <coughs> next we have Fairy Fairy da Alpha yet let's start from the quartz Fairy we have Blue Pearl Fafnir Quetzal Koal Silver Gem Linbaum Surprisingly, Gold Gem and Lorelei Amber Gem Utsusemi Hakutaku Emerald Gem Polglyph Oceanos Sekitoba and Black Gem so for Fairy, just like Nadia, she gets a pass quite easily. She gets a lot of flexibility because of this fire slot here. So you have a lot of leeway to, you know, on your other slot, on your other lines, because you already fulfill with just two slot on your weapon line. The fire slot here doesn't like matter that much because you can still because she has four slot here so she, she can easily trigger leg breaker and uh scrum up based on the available quartz that we have so very fine we fulfill all the condition among the easiest character to build at least for me so like in the previous game otis faster casting time extra damage perfect love fairy next we have Aron Wave. So for Aron Wave, we have Blue Pearl. Gold, not Gold Gem, Emerald Gem. We have, again, Standard. Fafnir. Not Standard, sorry. Fafnir. And Aknagarn. And then we have Azazel. We have Rusalka. We have Sekitoba. We have Hakutaku. We have Indomitable here, weirdly enough, and Silver Gem and Amber Gem, Black Gem, Oceanos, Hezrun, and Golden Gem. Uh, Aaron is kind of tight to build around because of this fire slot. And as I mentioned earlier, wind kind of tricky to get around because first it is the the good quartz are split between I, I mean the rest are good like they have their own use but beautiful smell I'm not gonna use it because it is, it is aggro indomitable situational you can skip it sprite I don't like the playstyle increase your item range so basically, I'm, I I I uh, I only have two, Kazakoal and Hazron, just like Elaine. The fire slot kind of mess around, mess mess him up here, and then having two wind slot means it adds 
it limits its value a little bit because you kind of need to put win in her in in the drive line if he has win slot here it's good but because he doesn't have it here and you want to use win quartz here you kind of have to use more than usual required win quartz so i have to use indomitable just to get arc feather and gather again <laughs> weirdly enough for Aaron, you can get arc feather and gather again because why indomitable give you some water so you basically fulfill the three water elemental value needed from indomitable and then you just put regular earth and uh mirage uh Hez rune is fine good elemental spread uh it has mirage and wind amazing uh for you can put whatever to be honest so for win uh emerald gem just fine you can trigger executioner so that's a bonus but yeah i guess the the double win slot threw me off a little bit that's why the bill is kind of weird so i have to make make do with my shield line so that i can at least get covering shell i do not have i have i uh, technically i have a mute resist mute but it's from not mira uh not space quartz but hey whatever at least i i trigger it right yeah Aaron is fine to build you i uh, basically a little bit of experiment uh, to get the optimal quote unquote bill that's how it is for me so a little bit tricky but i think the forgiving one is probably his win slot here because you kind of need if you need if you want leg breaker and if you want leg breaker especially you kind of want win here so that's good for the weapon line it's fine if you have executioner it's fine extra damage to stun enemies eh whatever so for Holocore, just like in the previous game, Karabia. But I miss it. Doesn't give you strength up anymore. It gives you crit rate. So he he will crit. Don't worry. Yeah, nothing changes for Adam. It's just I got surprised by it when I see it again. Damn, a lot of tweaking, I guess. But yeah, passable. I basically fulfill all the requirement. It's just. I wish I can put something else, but you know, whatever. I I I really want to put Yatagarasu, so that whenever he at low HP, he will hit harder. But eh, at least we compensate by having Aknagarn here. So whatever. So yeah, that's how I build Aaron. Next, we have Reset. We have Blue Pearl. We have Sekitoba. We have Fafnir. Hecaton Kyle, because she's uh, uh, reset in the shielder. Everyone knows that. Amber Gem, Lorelei, Gold Gem, Silver Gem, Lindbaum, Black Gem. Weirdly enough, <laughs> his rune. And. Uh, Oceanos, and then we have um, Emerald Gem, Volglyph, Utsu Semi, Hakutaku. Reset is fine. Water slot here is great, so you can easily trigger Seraphim Force. Water slot here is great because you can easily fulfill the condition to get Scrum up amazing no complaint 16 slot as well no complaint the weird one is this <laughs> i thought i want to put uh quetzal cobalt here but the reason i put his rune is because of the mirage value yeah that's it that's why i can put uh i mean i can switch around you know like if i remove these four quarts and I put uh, 
Where is it? Hakutaku? Hakutaku and I put Kretzako wall. I can still get a feather and get her again. It's just that I like the and I also still get uh, scrum up and leg breaker, you know. But I just like the idea of my art user to have Arc Feather 2, I guess. What am I missing? Why did I remove it? Oh yeah, Hakutaku and Utsusemi. <laughs> yes, because she has a lot of good stuff, she can tre easily fulfill your Treasure Hunter and uh, Hawkeye. Oh my god, she's amazing. <laughs> I like Reset. So just because I like the idea of Reset having Arc Feather level 2. Because she's an art user, right? She's not getting limited by her elemental slot, so... But Hazel, I don't think it's a waste because sometimes I use physical attack on her, so... Not as waste, you know? No complaint about her elemental slot. Because having win slot here give me a lot of leeway to be like like I showed earlier, you can switch around and still fulfill the condition. It's just that rather than using uh, rather than getting up feather two, you only get up feather one. So, oops, not as good, you know. But other than that, nothing. So reset build wise, I use holo core uh, Otis altar because. Focal, they change focal, and again, gather again, no a no issue when it comes to EP, so all this because like fairy, I primarily use reset for support, so if she can cast faster, then she can, you know, get, she can support you easier, if that logic makes sense. So yeah, reset is fine, I like reset, so. I just I I really enjoy the weird room <laughs> being here for some reason I don't know whatever at least we fulfill the condition right so yeah that's how I build my reset next the best character in the game for me the most fun here to use Shizuna so we have Fafnir we have Aknagarn we have Blue Pearl we have weirdly enough gold gem we have Sekitoba we have emerald gem we have Rusalka and then we have silver gem amber gem Azazel Hezrun Hakotaku black gem Oceanos crimson gem and Hermit. If you have full HP, you get 10% crit. Eh, it's fine. Functional. Uh, in terms of slot, mm, not much change. Like, um, the water slot he helps because you can easily trigger, like reset, you can easily trigger uh, scrum up. And have a uh, one extra slot to trigger a leg breaker. Perfect. The time slot here, fine. Because Rusalka has Earth value, so you can you don't have to use Earth quartz there. And because she has four slot here, you can easily tweak around and try to get Arc Feather Gather again, which I have. <laughs> On Shizuna. So yeah, we fulfill all the conditions surprisingly and we have extra I guess leftover. I can put uh Yatagarasu Quetzakowal. I think that's all that you know the best in slot. So yeah. She's in a lenient because she has 16 slot. The water slot on her extra line really helps. And the, you can ignore the rest. If if we don't have water slot here and we don't have time slot here, well, we need the time slot here because you kind of need it to trigger uh, covering shield. 
but if you don't have water slot here, it's fine, you know. So she's in a amazing. Uh, just like uh, just like uh, Nadia, I don't really change her initial holocore throughout the game. I just use Nagi. I thought I want to give her Karabia, but I think Nagi fits better because I want her to be fast. So the speed increased by Nagi really adds a lot. Yeah, she's in a nothing to complain about. Pretty cool. Really fun to use. And easy, among the easiest to build for a physical attacker. But, well, to be fair, she has 16 slots, so, you know. Next, we have Ren Bright. We have Blue Pearl. We have Sekitoba. Surprisingly, we have Amaltea. And then we have Fafnir. Amber Gem. Gold gem, silver gem, Ketzalkowal, Linbaum, Utsusemi, Emerald gem, Lorelei, Volglyph, Black gem, Hakutaku, and Oceanos. The only thing the only thing I want to complain is this space slot. <laughs> Other than that, nothing. <laughs> I mean, I can put Hyperion here. Because technically, Ren can heal. I can put Hyperion here easily. But, you know, I take Almathea because why not? So, because she has Mirage slot on her drive line. Just like other Mirage slot character really really flexible and really really easy to use the mirage slot here is fine on the extra line it's fine whatever it just means you can utilize um treasure hunter and some other stuff you know so yeah it's fine she's really easy to build and having 16 slot also helps so if i want to make one change probably i put hyperion here because she has healing craft in this game, so sure. I want the uh, just for because I'm gonna play on Nightmare, so I will probably get hit more, so I can trigger Almathea uh, as well. Because if I don't have Volgolith, then Almathea uh, will kick in. So you know. But if I want to make change, I can put Hyperion. If I am struggling with CP, you know. So yeah. For Ren, she, I, I still use a uh, Flau or Flauros. Uh, that's her initial holocore. It's basically Lore with different skill. It has EP discount, EP cut, and then EP regen. No damage increase. No magic damage increase. It just increases your art damage. Still good. Ren is so easy to build. I cannot stress how easy it is to build Ren. 16 slot with Mirage line. Oh boy, or oh, Mirage slot. Boy. And flower is good. I wish we have a second flower. Man, there's a lot of things I can do with a second flower. But whatever. I can't get it. So yeah, unfortunate. Next, we have Fee. So we have Blue Pearl, Haze Rune, Sekitoba, Fafnir, Amber Gem, Gold Gem, unfortunately Indomitable, and then uh, <laughs> Hakutaku, and then we have Emerald Gem, we have Silver Gem, and Black Gem. Agnagarn, Oceanos, Azazel, and Rusalka. Uh, Fee physical centric, uh, physical attacker, pretty easy to build. On, oh, I also realize now I have to censor a lot of stuff on the screen. Damn it, whatever. Because of the holocore I use, I think it's a spoiler. Yeah, I try to respect people that may or may not 
and I have played Hajimari, but I'll, I'll censor it. Sophie, pretty standard. Just like Elaine and Aaron, having extra win slot really... I don't want to say screw you over because I am overreacting it because I don't have any other option to use. <laughs> We're not going to use Quetzalcoatl on her, right? So, what's the worst thing that could happen? Indomitable. I don't like Indomitable because it only triggers if you have less than 50% HP. It's fine to dodge, 10% dodge, like whatever, right? But less than 50% HP, uh, yeah, whatever, I have to use it. Or I, you know, I can put like crit, tr crit rate 3 here, you know, and just bomb her crit rate up, but some holocore give you a, a bunch of crit rate, so it's kind of a crit rate overflow. I don't want to do that. But yeah, other than that, we fulfill the conditions surprisingly. The time time slot here really helps. Yeah, again, time and water, or sometimes wind, for extra line, so that you can get uh, like breaker scrub up. The wind slot here helps because you can get execution as well. The wind slot here, eh, it's fine. Whatever. At least you can get some resist uh, seal resist, you know, because of the wind elemental value. But other than that, B, good. In terms of holocore, just fine. Like, uh, holocore spoiler number one, fine. A lot of good stuff in there. Stats increase, no crit, no crit rate buff. no crit rate buff so i can if i want to like if i want to i can switch to crit rate 3 and still have covering shield activated or covering shield available if i want to but i guess i'll just, i'll use indominable for now whatever you know it's fine i can afford not critting half of the time it's fine. So yeah, it's P kind of a mixed bag, unfortunately. Because I thought, spoiler number one, Holocore has crit rate. I forgot about it. So I have the option to switch to crit rate 3. But, you know, it doesn't matter. I'll, I'll switch it. Okay, the final character in the game that you recruit last one is Zin. Zin. Pearl Gem, Aknagarn, Amber Gem, Fafnir, Azazel, unfortunately Talos, again I don't know how stun being, how stun value or how stun damage is calculated, so unless you can abuse it then I will still say I, I don't know how to abuse stun so until we know how to abuse it then for me stun increasing damage quartz or shard skill are just bonus if i can trigger it it's good if i don't trigger it then eh, fine whatever hakutaku gold gem emerald gem silver gem rusalka black gem sekitoba oceanos and hezrun Nothing to complain. Water slot here is great. Like always. The earth slot here is great. Just enough to trigger stuff that I need. But other than that, it's it's fine. Like I just don't like Talos. <laughs> because again, I don't know at what extent you can abuse it. It's not like it's not the the breaking system is not as straightforward as in old steel games you can close the game you can see the hp bar you can see the break bar and as my tests earlier on my other videos that i showed the tutorial from kuro or a guide from kuro uh 
after further testing, your base stun value is tied to your difficulty. So, I think on Nightmare Run, it's really unlikely for you to stun bosses. Or maybe you can stun it once, but it's really hard to stun them more than one turn or more than one time. So, Talos, I think, will lose a little bit of the value. At least because the value comes, the value is based on the fact that you can trigger it only you can stun the boss and you are not you're not gonna stun a boss three times in one battle so Talos lose a little bit of value on that so but other than that Zin is fine surprisingly he has water slot which is makes sense because martial artists usually have water like Laura and Kurt so I kind of understand the logic why he has rather than space he has water and earth makes sense for holocore he uses spoiler holocore number two it's fine he gets a lot of crit but he doesn't get stats up and fi got some sustain with this cp uh is it good yeah sure in terms of build more or less what I like on Zin. So he fulfill we uh, I fulfill all the condition, all the criteria I like on Zin. And yeah, I think he he's fun to use. In as a physical attacker, he's very fun to use. So yeah, that's the end of the video. We talk about all of the combat changes, we talk about all of the holocore and holocore changes all of the new quartz added into the game and now I'll talk about how i build my character and how you can try to copy the regular build if you don't farm i might miss some stuff mistake pronunciation whatever so sorry i guess so anyways i know this video is long you know it's just me rambling while i can barely speak english so Sorry, thanks for watching. Bye.